The 1962 World Cup was another success for Brazil, but not for Pelé, as he injured himself in the early part of the tournament. Pelé's appearance at the 1966 World Cup was marred by brutal fouling from opposition players, and he vowed never to play again, but later reversed his decision. The 1970 World Cup was Pelé's last, and in the final against Italy, he scored the opening goal and later assisted on two others, as Brazil coasted to an easy 4-1 win. Pelé's performance prompted this comment from Italian defender Tarquizio Bergnic. I told myself before the game, he's made of skin and bone like everyone else, but I was wrong. Pelé was showered with all sorts of awards, both sporting and humanitarian over the years. And for his deeds on the field, he was named Athlete of the Century by no less than six different organisations. In his life after football, Pelé is known for his humanitarian work for many different bodies. He was appointed United Nations Ambassador for Ecology and the Environment. <laughs> and worked tirelessly to elevate these areas. As an ambassador for the sport of football, Pelé never stops giving back to the game and the fans. It is for this that he will always be revered as one of the legends of the game. To be established in connection with the association, for which all clubs belonging should be invited to compete, met with favour and was finally approved three months later. <laughs> 